Hi guys, it's Anne. Thank you for joining me. Welcome to the vortex of multi-dimensional energy and living, right? Wow. I mean, a lot of you are probably feeling the intensity um, of this energy. Certainly over the past few days, it has been wild. It is almost like being on a drug high um, without any any of that uh, required at all. We are definitely going through some rapid shifts, timeline shifts, um, a leaping in a quantum perspective. It all depends on your particular situation and uh, life mission and your choice. So uh, it's going to be different for everybody. However, I'm going to say collectively here, um, this huge, beautiful vortex of energy that we're experiencing is really the culmination of this healing work that we've been working through, the work that so many of us have been doing for a long time, knowing that we came here for, we've learned this through some of this work, we've come here um, for this mission to um, help clear out some of these old programs and energies and release them and to bring in and introduce our, ourselves back to ourselves again. So we're having to really uh, relearn what we are truly, truly all about. Uh, we have more than five senses and we are starting to really understand and navigate uh, some of these different capabilities that we all have and offer. And this is just a tremendous, tremendous time to be alive right now. So, wow, it is affecting us in, in so many different ways. Certainly, so many people are starting to actually feel, um, especially those who are attuned to this, who are on um, sort of a mission here, are feeling these energies within the body fluctuating, feeling the incoming frequencies. Um, it's a bit like uh, a buzz or a high uh, sometimes. It is definitely something we have to learn to integrate and to live with. Um, at the same time, we're releasing all of this, this old stuff. And this is interesting because um, what I'm getting is this really self-actualization. So this self-doubt, this little voice that keeps us in this negative conversation, in um, comparing ourselves to others, not truly believing in our own abilities, in feeling like others are ahead of us or know more than us. Um, just that those little conversations, even you know, throughout the day, they nudge in with a negative flavor to them. And we have to keep reminding ourselves, this is not me. So this is a big, 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 huge program that we are recognizing and thus trying to release that really what it is. It's that, um, it's that ego voice. It's, it's really that voice that is limiting in nature. It is usually the result of what we've learned, um, energies from others. This can be ancestrally, but it's that nagging little voice that tells you that you are not enough or there's something wrong with you. And wow, that is something we have been working very hard to clear and really, really push through consciously keep moving forward, um, hearing it come up and say, I'm hearing you, but that's not who I am. And then continuing the journey of unraveling the truth about ourselves. So really this child wounding, this wounding surrounding ourself, um, what we learned, what we picked up as uh, in, our, in our childhood, a lot of this is, um, that we don't know the subconscious is just so ingrained subconsciously and we get little hints um, about this. I know one for me was uh, my worth and my value. Definitely what I felt about myself, what I felt I was 
capable of manifesting in terms of abundance. I had a lot of restrictions around that because my parents had a lot of restrictive energy around money and in their conversations about money. And this is something that subconsciously was passed on to me. And that is just one example. But as we start to learn and grow and take these new energies coming in, we are recognizing so many cool things about our our, our limit, um, our, our limitless ability. So it's really up to your choice and imagination what it is you want to actually do and how you want to create um, the next portion of your journey. So if we're going to be here um, experiencing this, and a lot of us are here creating this new earth environment in our own ways, it's all very different uh, depending on your particular calling, your particular role, your intuitive guidance as to what's pulling you in. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be uh, out in the limelight, um, but it does all of the work. So much of the work that I do is an internal shift that I'm constantly becoming conscious of and constantly working on every single day. Day. So to me, this is a job of self-mastery, of mastering myself, my thought processes, and my mind to my own advantage. Now, this, you know, this is a challenge because uh, where I have come from in my healing journey has been very much not only a physical healing journey, but a mental healing journey, working through so many different types of trauma, severe surgery, physical traumas coming back from near death, and all of the energy tied to being closely connected to the, um, the healthcare environment and, and, and having to live with um, certain aspects of myself from that perspective. So there's always um, energies, voices, uh, people influencing us in what we decide to choose to do, to hear, to understand. And this is something I believe right now we're really, really, really becoming aware of because we have to, in some cases, completely block that out in order to find ourselves. And sometimes this means we have to move away from people in our lives. We have to really step into our self-validation mode that is saying, I need, I'm asking for, I want to change for the better. This is what I'm deciding to do. I'm driven to be a different version of me. And I have the intent to make this happen like you would not believe. And one of the things that I know I need to do is to really watch where I absorb words from other people and energy. But a lot of energy is in around speech and words. So cutting off um, some of that until we know how to manage it better, until we can step back from it and recognize it for what it is and have our own energy be in charge. Uh, this is where the money is right now in terms of our growth. So that means, especially media, wow, I mean, it's all over the place. It's really chopped salad, so much confusion for a reason. We are on the precipice here of this major change. And if we're tapped into it properly, if we have a clear energetic setting around us and we're not absorbing um, other stuff, we are really tapping into our true, true, true capabilities. Now, this is where we're using, you know, it's, I'm not going to say this is a walk in the park. Every single day is an opportunity is the only way to look at it because I'm going through my own challenges. Some days uh, I'm just guided. I, my intuition is telling me I just need to stop and recharge. Um, and that's what I, I choose to do. Um, other days it is um, full steam ahead, get things done, chop wood, carry water, live life in your own joyful state as much as possible. And so much of it, in my, from my perspective, is about us 
choosing that, this journey is about learning. So we can choose to learn and follow any direction we really feel guided to follow. But it is the game right now. The game right now is that we are in charge of our mind. The mind is not in charge of us. Now, this is where we are tapping in to this higher dimensional knowledge, this sixth sense energy, the feeling energy, the heart-centered energy, what we know, we know, we know, is guiding us all along here with introducing us to people and opportunities to help us grow, providing synchronistic events when we are on the right path, supporting us always as we take big steps towards our fear and, um, and really walk through the fear to get to the point of recognizing that worry and anxiety is not the answer. Trusting your soul and your heart is. And this is catapulting us into creating a multitude of opportunities within our own, through our own intention to do so. So creating the artwork, the picture that is to be what is unraveling and unfolding for you. And this is why all of this release from the past energy of not being enough is so important because we're all enough. Uh, each and every day, just being alive and appreciating the small things in life, having gratitude and finding our own simple joys is enough. We're all enough exactly the way we are. So it's a complete farce that there's anything wrong with any of us. The only thing we are trying to overcome is that which is not us. So this is where the work, um, the shadow work really is. And, you know, there's so much density on the planet. Uh, there is no doubt about that. You know, I was made acutely aware of this when I woke up uh, after my surgery. I could feel uh, I had been isolated and um, I had been essentially energetically cleared in a, in a strange way, but I could feel the energy density off of every single person I talked to. It was a very, very weird experience, some much stronger than others. So we all carry a certain amount of density, and this we don't know. Um, and But when we start to do this work, when we're called to do this self-healing journey, when we're called to dig into and undercover, uncover parts of ourselves, through different means, different pieces of information, different people come into your life to help you unravel the story. When we are called to do that, we are starting to see where we hold the density. And some of this is the density of other people within ourselves. And I know this sounds complicated, but there is it is a very programmed, dense world out there, folks. I mean, it truly, truly is. Until you really step away from it, you don't realize how subtle the programming and the gaslighting is to keep you in this frame of mind of fear of not being enough, not being secure enough in your own abilities, your own self-knowledge to make progress, progressive change in your life. And none of it is true. So the mind makes up all kinds of lies every day. Yes, part of it is to protect us from danger. But the real danger here is if we don't dig into uh, the inner self, into the higher self, is where we lose contact with our soul, our true essence of who we are. That is the power Others will even try to take that from you because it is truly, truly a gift if you are able to recognize 
and acknowledge that amazing part of yourself, that essence of you that is um, not seen by anyone except those who are on the same frequency. So, wow. I mean, just a few little things we're working on here. Nothing major, but we're doing it. And this is the really, really cool thing about this is it is happening. We are shifting. We can feel this occurring. It is bigger than most people realize because um, a lot of people are doing this work. We just don't all talk about it because we accept others for wherever they're at on their journey with non-judgment. And it is just something bigger than us. It is us, but connected in a much, much different way. So I hope, you know, I try to do these videos to help inspire you. It is definitely a journey of epic proportions. I can't say, I certainly do not know all the answers. All I know is what I'm called to do to, to move past limited mind thinking and to see um, what we are truly capable of giving ourselves the opportunity to do so. So I call on you guys to remember that. Keep it a little bit light. It's supposed to be the more we live in joy, and you can see where the energy is um, trying to come in and take us out of that pleasure zone. Um, yeah, you know, ego doesn't really enjoy it when we're happy. So uh, we can feel the energies of this, like, it's kind of, it's kind of icky, anxiety, fear-based energy, to be honest. And where we, when we are in alignment with our true selves, we can feel the energetic warm blanket, the joy that really and truly is who we are. So we keep moving forward. We keep collectively working on this here to visualize our next version of ourselves, our next step to, to kind of erase off the table, clear off the clutter of all of that old inundated thinking that we've been holding on to and say, yeah, I recognize you. Yep, that was something that happened here and that is so-and-so's energy. We clear, we say it, we see it, but we say my effort, my energy right now in this point in time is to continue to push past that spiral taking us back and to just keep reminding ourselves, just keep creating, even though that voice is telling you otherwise, just keep creating in your own small way. Visualizing what you want without limitation is such a powerful energy. So your intention is everything. Your intention to clear old energy, ask for it, to retention for protection, your intention for sovereignty, your intention for what it is you want to bring in is all bang on. So remember that. Clear the clutter, have clear intentions, watch your thoughts, keep going, bring joy to other people's lives, make them smile, pass it on, we are powerful, love you, talk soon, bye.